my guys, I'm sorry to tell you, and I know this is a rude way to start off the ride, but I've been lying to you guys. This isn't my true voice. But I'll tell you guys a little story in my true voice so you guys can understand. <coughs> Way back in 1949, when I found out I was down on the deep black full of fish and wildlife fish too. And let me tell you, it's too slow with your deep black wolves. The fuck you come in there, fool, your friends, man, not coming to lose no more. So we had to change the name to a little bit to make the move more sense. So I was down to name it Snake Billy. And when Snake Billy was a wonderful name to you, realize that everybody was afraid of snakes. So we had to change the name once again to something else with a little bit more sense. So I found out when they had talked to the smartest person he knew, and that being his wife, because your wife is always the smartest person you know, apparently. And she said, honey, yeah, oh, we're cooking it. We have a whole bunch of ants, we have a whole bunch of gators, so why don't we just got a gator land? Where do you go? 70 years later, here we are, gator land, gator capital of the world. I know y'all seen that building over there. We got a Gator Joe's Run Boogie Adventure. And where you guys going? Some Russ, 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 and even Joe's Soul Gator Boogie. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go on it. See, don't take. Great space, you're going hot. Now, first of all, we'll be looking at these saltwater crocodiles. He loves to the crocodiles on his planet. These guys can jump out the water like any other crocodile, but these guys are, like I said, are the biggest. They can get up to 23 feet long. We have the two tons have a bike force of 3,300 pounds. So in other words, if they get you, they probably already got you. You get it. Now, first up, we have more than she's going to press the closure. Next up, we got Big Daddy Bird in the BB. And last and definitely not least, we have Salty Girl. Now, Big Daddy Dunny, he's called that because he's the largest crocodile that we have here. He's 14 feet long, about 1,400 pounds. That's like 100 pounds per foot. I wouldn't be able to walk my feet were 100 pounds. You guys saw me, I'm pretty small. I can't lift that much weight. Then now we got the Nile crocodiles, the most aggressive crocodiles on this planet. These guys will jump out the water, grab a hand slope, wood to me, see them my grandma's feet, just anything going to the water. We have to love all guys doing that too, and this will give you a chance. Seriously, I wouldn't give them a chance. They might actually eat you. Goodbye. They playing around head each other because that's what else they do. We also have Dixon over here on the other side, minding this business, with big balls treading through the water. Look how big that boy is. Yeah, and on the other side, we have Felix a minute to go right here. He may be small, but he ain't no my little pony. He's more about bags and kicks and friendship and magic, let me tell you that. With me and Leo right over here, we have a baby cat following right behind. Look how cute he is. He looks like a little puppy dog. Now, we do have this outhouse right here. If you guys want to, you know, I guess, stay in the outhouse, you guys are more than welcome to. All you got to do is pay about $3,000 a night to me personally, and I'll let you stay here. Easy, no problem. And don't act like $3,000 is a lot. The housing market is quite equivalent to that. Now to our left, we have the Emu Pavilion. Emus are the second largest bird in the world. They can reach up to six feet tall. They can run up to 30 miles per hour. And that's what I call a little bass chicken nugget. You get it? Because they run fast and they birds and Chicken nuggets and you take the knees off, take the head. No, okay, I, I thought that was funny. Y'all, y'all not laughing. You know what? Fine, we gonna make an optional stop right here. If you guys want to get off and check out the 330 Legend Swamp Show, you guys are more than welcome to. If you don't want to, and stay on the rest of the ride because we got a whole bunch more to get into. Anyways, you guys can also check out. Uh, wow, a crane! Holy, holy smokes! It's a crane, not a bird crane, but a crane. 
what else are you doing today? I don't know, just climbing. Oh wait, please Bobcat workers only. Does that mean that Bobcats are wearing tiny suits? I feel like that's adorable. Imagine a little Bobcat wearing a little little tiny suit with a tiny handkerchief and a and 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 you mean there's an up close encounter show where you guys get up close and encounter all the creepy crawling to the slime and creepy creatures that we have here in Gatorland. But hey, what do I know? You might go and victim and hop up on stage and enjoy the show from there. I didn't say victim. You said victim. I said volunteer. Don't try to get me in trouble. I, I need this job. Uh, top 10 voted zip line in the world. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool, you know. Ain't no else let you zip line over some gators. And if you know someone that does, you should stop going because we're better than you know. Now we also have the petting zoo with my baby girl, Miriam. How you doing, girl? <laughs> She's busy. She ain't paying attention to me. That hurts, you know, just a little bit. But yeah, all the cute, fluffy, and adorable animals that we have here at Gatorland. We have goats and sheep and emus and emus and everything in there. Even a red foot tortoise and a sopranic tortoise. But I will say, hear me out. Why hang out with all those cute, fluffy, and adorable animals when you can hang out with your cute, fluffy, and adorable train driver right here? Ain't that right? Guys? Guys? No? Okay, alright. Now you guys can check out the Gator Breeding Marsh where there is 150 gators, where there's 100 females and 50 males. And we keep that to the head ratio simply because we don't want our males and females fighting over each other because you know how guys get around girls. We get all random bunches and stuff and try to show off. And we like to keep the violence way down to a minimum here at Gator Lane. Anyways, but like I was saying, you know, we don't eat gator eggs, that's messed up. What we actually do is put them out in incubators so and get bigger and stronger to join our show one day, because trust and believe, gators are going to be stars too. Now think about it, do y'all think gator omelets would be delicious? I feel like they might actually taste kind of good. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'm sure. I feel like they might taste at least like... Gator rate? Gator rate? Gator rate? I don't know. Anyway, 